Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Shedder here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Gabriel's World The Adventure. This was developed by Rafael Valim Fernandez, published by My Night Sun Games and is usually available for just £4.59 slash $5.49 US style. So this is actually a really fun and jam-packed platformer. So we play as Gabriel who, just like any child, does all the child stuff child rendu plus smash a cereal, cereal on the hour every hour, which is basically, that's all kids, right? Yeah. Also, you'll see this game has a very heavy cereal input. Uh, kids go missing, probably eating cauliflower and thinking, screw that, then run away. So it's up to Gabriel to save the world from all the creepy crud stuff that's going on. Now, achievements-wise, they are, again, all very easy. We need to collect up to 30 cereals, and considering there's almost a 1,000, I think, that's pretty easy. Uh, collect one coin, die 10 times, Grab a rare and platinum cereal box and finish the game. So all in all, this should only take you around 20 minutes to half hour, depending on deaths, etc. of course. But I did enjoy, enjoy this one. There seemed a lot of levels and stuff to do in 20 small minutes. So with that being said, then let us begin. And of course, you're probably going to have to sign in and do all the jazz that I just done there. But once you've done, we're going to start it off. We're going to start a new game. Now make sure to not skip the cutscene. Very important, if you want the first achievement of the game, we are not going to skip the cutscene. So, I, I, I don't know what else to tell you for a third time. Do not skip the cutscene, you! Do not skip it. Keep watching for another hour, uh, an hour, a minute or two. Do not skip the cutscene. Okay, that's plenty of warning now. So that is going to be the end of the cutscene, we'll get the good boy from the Kauto achievement. And we're going to just smash ahead with it. So, left stick to move of course, A button to jump, and the A button if you press it twice, you're going to do a mega double jump as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. Of course the spikes, so we're going to jump over the first spikes, grab these first cereal bowls, jump on these uh, marshmallow things and jump across to grab the, all of the cereal bowls in here. Now jump up if you want to grab the three. You don't actually have to grab the three up the top if you don't want to. Uh, but if you do, just jump up, stand on this platform here and do a big double jump up. Stand on old marshmallow head. I, I assume that's a marshmallow. We'll soon see. Now in the top left hand corner as we drop down, you can see your three hearts. That's how many hits you can take before you die. It's going to be pretty rare for you to die actually. Um, because there's plenty of hearts and things as well in the game. So we jump up on the left here to grab the key. As we drop down, we're going to get all 30 cereal. <laughs> like I said, this is a very heavy cereal infused game. Um, so once you get all of the achievements, you actually don't have to uh, bother with the cereal anymore if you don't want. You don't have to go out of your way to grab L cereal, although it depends on the cereal. Damn, that shit's good. That is some good, good stuff. Right, we're going to grab the coin right here. So we're going to jump on the platform. And then when we just nip across to the other side... Well, I tried to drop down immediately and failed, but there's the first achievement. That's the only coin in the game that we need to grab. So, my money. My leg. My money leg. So, we just uh, jump across over the spikes, of course, over the old uh, pink tings. And drop straight down to the right, if you want. Uh, this is where we're going to get the uh, cereal big boss. Again, this isn't for an achievement, but it's uh, neat, little, neat little hiding places. And there's quite a few of those cereal boxes about if you want to grab them. So, uh, like I said, I do end up grabbing most, if not all, of these cereals on this first level. But afterwards, again, you really literally don't have to worry. So we're just dropping down. Down, 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 down. 
straight on Nugget's head. And like I said, it's going to be pretty rare for you to die. Um, simply because there's plenty of hearts about. Which, if that was in real life, well, it would make real life a lot easier, wouldn't it? But that is the first level complete then. And we're on to the second level of this world. And this is where we're going to get one of the rare cereal box achievements now. The, um... Uh, rare more or less achievement. There it is. It's already it's it's trapped in a cage. What kind of madman traps cereal? I do not know. The ones that cereal these days cost you like six bucks now, so they put it behind the cage. But uh, anyway, the key is uh, just to the right up here as we get to the top. Now to get the to the rare cereal, jump over the spikes, solve this puzzle, press the X button. And you've got to press the Y button and the right stick to move it. And all you're doing is just matching up the symbols. That's all you're doing. So the one that looks like. The M, McDonald's sign. The triangle there with the line through on the left. The triangle to the right. The A on the top left. The W on the bottom right. And the upside down chunkier A on the bottom left. Now if it doesn't seem to work, just move this... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, just move some of the symbols a little bit closer. And it'll automatically go off. Don't, that's not an edit, by the way. That You just drop down like that. And there it is. We have beaten Tesco's slash Walmart's $6 cereal thing, so pfft, there we go. We've done that. Now you're going to get the rare more or less achievement. Uh, so we can just jump back up. Um, don't go to the left and up. Now the reason why there was a little edit there, I thought I was being clever and found a shortcut. As it turns out, I just went into a dead end with spikes at the top there. So climb to the right all the way up to the top and just dropped out all the way to the left. Right, yeah, And skablamo! That is yet more level done. Okay, what we're going to do first then? We are going to get to the point where we have to die ten times. Now, there are three bosses in this game. Four bosses in this game. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but we're just going to get the die ten times out of the achievement. More, the, more lives than a cat achievement out of the way. So all you're going to do is literally just keep... I mean, he went full on Drilldo 3000 mode. He did, didn't he? So, um... Yeah, just die. Literally, all you got to do is just die 10 times by this worm. I've obviously edited it down some to just save time on the video. Uh, but that's all you got to do. It shouldn't take any more than sort of potentially three minutes or so. You're literally going to start any time you die from a boss, you're going to start at the beginning. And that's probably the only thing I've got about this game as well. It's a typical platform, it, platformer in the sense of, as all we got to do to jump the boss, uh, just jump on the boss's head a couple of times. And he will die a lovely death. But that's the only thing, like with most platformers, um, if you die, even if you're at the end of the level, uh, you've got to start again from the beginning of the level. So that can be a bit of a pain, but it's all in all not too bad. This game is quite easy and quite generous as well. So after you've beaten the boss, we're onto this happy little sunshine level with the uh, flying rotisserie chickens or something. So jump on them to head across. Jump on them to head across. Again, you don't have to worry about the cereals or anything now if you don't want to. It's always worth uh, doing a bit of collecting if you so wish. Uh, jump off. We're going to jump to the left here to grab another key. Again, if you want to grab this money right here, you can. Um, apparently, I do. <laughs> so, well, there we go. If not, again, don't worry because you've already got the achievement for that. So, we're just going to wait for the platform. Hey, screw you, buddy. You hit me. I am Gabriel. I am the big boss cereal man of Cereal Town. Right, so jump across the platform. It's a little platforming section, since it is a platform, but that would make sense. But of course, we've got to do big jumps here over to the right. And do another big jump over to the right again. Jump onto the old rotisserie chicken bags. And of course, avoid the spikes. That's, uh, I think that's pretty fairly obvious. These ones drop straight down, so immediately just jump down. Jump over to the right. And then, of course, jump over to the right once again. Now, uh, what you're supposed to do, you can actually just leave it here. Don't do what i done just there. I actually uh, messed that one up. I, I say mess it up. I jumped on the bottom one, but the bottom goes all the way to the left. So it was like a minor 30 second inconvenience, which I've shown you plenty in time. Right, jump across. Quickly jump across. These ones fall down again. And that's the end of the platforming section and the end of this level. So congratulations. We're on it. We're flying. Right, some more flying delicious KFC chickens we're going to have to bounce over if you so wish. Jump over to the right. We're going to drop down to the right here. And what we're going to do is go to the left. So jump across the gap here. And what you're going to see is two blobby marshmallow heads. But if we keep going in the, to the wall there, you can see the key. The key. The key to my heart. 
Now, there is a cereal, but that is not needed for an achievement, so we're actually not going to worry about that one. What we are going to do is just continue heading to the left. Try not to uh, get Gabriel Buns spiked on right there. My assumption is that it would hurt, as we could just see. Uh, and then it's just a simple case of, uh, again, just basically going to the other side on this part. So drop down, make sure there is spikes at the bottom there, so just be careful not to get hit. Again, if you do get hit, you literally get a good couple of seconds to jump off. And that is the end of that level. Right then, on to the second boss fight. And it's just going to be the same thing. Basically, an UFO appears. Oh my god, it is UFO. And you're just going to do the same thing. Jump on his head, jump on his head. If you don't manage to do this, the alien will start shooting fireballs and stuff at you. Uh, so just keep jumping the crap out of his nugget. There we go. And lucky mucker. You screwed up, son. Right, so... Now we are into the underground mining levels with lots of lava and lots of rocks and stuff. And moles with shovels that want to kill you. That's always handy. Right, wait here until the rocks start go jumping down. And immediately jump here and jump across. These are falling rocks or falling uh, platforms that can kill you. Jump on the rocks and that'll finish that one. You can see the key just above us right there. So that's what we're going to do. Climb up and grab the heart if you so wish and the key. Now, you do have to be careful with this part. We can just drop down. Again, collect all the cereals if you so wish. But we're going to drop down. Um, but you need to be careful because you can easily drop down and die all the way. So, just take your time here. Drop down each platform. And you can see the two cereal bowls. That's a safe landing. Plus, again, a bit of cereal boog boos. Boog boos. Right. Jump on some rotisserie chickens here over to the left. Watch out for the speedy mole. Angry little turnip, but eh? And then make sure to jump over to the left. Now, this this requires a big double jump. Uh, I actually died there the first time. So, that was a first. Uh, that was a big double jump that we need. Um, so, basically, just hold in the A button. And then, right as he's about to start falling, press it again. And then, we can just sneakily take our time. Jumping over the spike here. And going over to the next platform. Jumping up, heading to the left to end the level. So then, on to the next level. Right, jump over, of course, trying to die in the hot tomato soup. Lava soup. Uh, and again, obviously, we're going to jump over here, over the rotisserie chicken. Now, the key is in the top right-hand corner, so you're going to need to jump over the... Jump onto the two chickens, as it, as it were. Because uh, apparently, I ended up failing the first time. So, jump on the two chickens here. Again, these ones will respawn, so don't worry if you actually jump on them. You don't kill them. Drop down. Jump over the two geodudes. Over the tomato soup. Lava. Ah, you son of a monkey. So, yeah. Right. Um, again, that's a cereal that we don't need to bother with. It's not for an achievement or anything. So, you can just leave that if you wish. And just simply jump across to the right-hand side to the very, very end. Now, this next boss is uh, slightly a bit more of a pain. So, he can jump from anywhere. So, just be careful. Stay more towards sort of to the left. And three uh, rocks are going to start falling. So, we're going to need to jump at him immediately. Quick as we can. So just keep jumping on him, and three rocks are going to start falling. Try to avoid them best you can. Uh, but as long as you keep jumping on him from, from the start, that will end quite quickly. Otherwise, rocks are going to fall, and apparently, that's going to hurt you. Now we are into the Homer Simpson style, Land of Chocolate. Now the flying chocolate you cannot kill, they do hurt you, so just be careful of those. As you can see, I've got one hit left. Oh no! Uh, so lots of cereal here. There's, again, I just... Uh, Bruh, I like cereal. Drop down to the left. There is the key. Now, cereal is definitely the simplest. Oh, gummy worms. The land of chocolate. La, 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 la. Anyway, to the bottom right there. There is the end. So I'm literally thinking of that one uh, Simpson episode. Right there. Now, what you're going to do is uh, press right, up, down, left on the D-pad to start moving our big chocolate helicopter thing. And obviously, the, what we're going to have to do is just avoid all the spikes. That's fairly obvious. There's going to be some rotisserie chickens flying about as well. Um, but there's nothing to do for literally a minute apart from avoid spikes. Try not to die, as once again, of course, dying is a little bit of a minor inconvenience. So, take your time and enjoy the scenery. 
This honestly reminds me of the uh, Sonic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 when you fly in and Tails is played. Sort of something similar. That was <laughs> what a classic game that was. Thanks for the ride, Chocolate Tails. We're all good. So what we're going to do then, we can go either up or down. What we're going to do is just head down. There's the key on the down part. And then we, what from here, what we're going to do is just go to the left. You can hit these chocolate... I mean, they're supposed to be chocolate bullets, but they do remind me of something else entirely. Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that one. Um, so go, obviously, just keep heading to the left. There's no need to go up. Marshmallow your way up if you want to grab those three cereals. Otherwise, the exit is on the left. And I like how this game does slightly try to trick you by telling you to go up or down or all around. Right, for this third boss then, this is going to be a giant cupcake. When did cupcakes get so goddamn angry? Uh, but it's basically going to have three uh, things that you need to try and beat as well. So three sort of armoured protection. There we go. So what you're going to do, and it sort of obviously moves as well. So what you're going to do then, every time you see a heart, my, my advice is to just go for those hearts. Um, because you can easily die. Because um, he starts throwing gummy worms at you and stuff like that. So what you're going to do is try and keep bouncing on it, but as soon as you see a heart, just uh, go immediately go for that heart so your health is regained. Other than that, it is just jumping on him nice and easy. So this is the final level then of the game. I smashed it, flying through it. And this is just one of those uh, levels that you're just going to have to avoid a lot of spikes, plus be chased by a big angry boss looking thing. And this is where we're actually going to get the Platinum Cereal Box as well. So it's simply just a case of jumping over, of course, ju avoiding all the spikes for now. Heading to the right. Jump over the spike, onto the black bag or tyres or whatever the hell they're supposed to be. I thought they were black bags first, but my eyes are going nuts. So here is where the Platinum Box is, just at the bottom there. So make sure to grab this Platinum Box to get the Platinum Edition! Exclamation mark achievement. It is a baby. You are eating baby cereal. Now, uh, luckily, it's not real babies, because that would put you in prison. Uh, no, I'm just joking. Right. So, here we are then. This is where the final boss then is going to start. We've only got two. You should only have two achievements left now. And this is a chase scene from giant uh, chocolate bullet thing. I don't know. Let's jump over the first spike, over to the second spike. You need to make a big jump there. Be careful here, and then just jump again over. Jump across to the right, of course. Once, jump over again. Jump again, just make sure, Just you can either wait, uh, but it's probably easier to just keep going. Same with this bit, just keep going, and then jump. Jump over these three, jump again, over the spikes, over these, uh, the moving saws. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping, jump twice, over again, and again, obviously, just be careful. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. You're sort of avoiding spikes and saws. And this is the end of it, so... Well, there we go then. That'll be everything has an end achievement. We just got one thing left to do. <laughs> and luckily, he gets messed up by the cereal box factory right at the very end there. So, a lucky broski. But anyway, that is the everything has an end achievement. We just got one more achievement left to get. And this is for hitting E.T. with a spoon on the collectibles page, which is uh, very easy. So, as soon as it's done, great music, by the way. <laughs> great music. <laughs> really enjoyable. Ah, oh, there we go. Well done, Gabriel. Well done, everyone. Well done, players. We're all good. Ah, the end. The end. We win. As it turns out, all the kids uh, turned into cauliflowers themselves. That's why you should never eat cauliflower. Eat every other vegetable is lovely, but cauliflower and Brussels sprouts are the devil's work, of course. And if you don't believe me, just ask every kid ever. So, when we get here, then, what we're going to do, press the start button to start again. Go to collectibles. Move the spoon with the right trigger up to the alien, and that will unlock the Mars Attacks achievement and get you the full 1,000 out of 1,000 in roughly around 20 to 25 minutes or so. 
So there we go then guys, so thank you so so much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed the game, I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If it did help of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, and I will see you in the next one, Bye bye, bye, big love.